as you can see here, if by going under edit and sales taxes, I have currently a GST account at 0001 and a PS account at 0002. The first step I need to do is create a HST account. So I'll click on the new button and I'll type in HST. Put in 003 HST. Short name I can put as HST. Now, with this example here, I'm going to use my GST collected, or I can create a new HST collected account. If you can see here, by browsing the general ledger, I have a GST collected, but I don't have an HST yet. So, what I could do I could create an HST account by going under General Editor I'll create an account here HST account I'll set that as a liability account. I'll click on save. Yes. Let's save. So if we browse the general ledger again, I have an HST account and I have my GST account and my PSD account. So I have the option now of going back underneath my sales taxes and it's sales tax. I'll browse again and you've noticed here I have a HST account which I just set up. I currently have it set as 21400 however I can now change it to my HST account if I so desire. I will change it to that and the rate I'll put in here is 13%. Now, depending on what province you have for the HST, you may need to set up um, more HST accounts with different rates if necessary. I'll click on Save. I'll close. The next thing we need to do is go underneath your system setup by going under Edit, System Manager, and under System Setup. I'll say Yes, and click on Company and Tax Info. For purchase orders and accounts payable, uh, as of July 1st, I'm going to change this to my HST account, 0003. And I'm going to zero this out here for PST, which is no longer needed. Tab through that. I'm going to click on Customers. I'm going to click on Customer Setup. I'm going to change this to 0003 for my default and change this to zeros as of July 1st. These are the two places I need to change underneath company tax info for HST and customer setup change my sales tax 1 to HST. I'll click OK and I'm ready to invoke this sales tax change utility now. I'll make sure that I exit BizVision along with everybody else and my backup is already done, it's very important. I'll say OK. I'll close this down and go to the Sales Tax Change Utility and I'm going to log into my company. Now I have, if I have more than one company, I'll see them all listed here. But uh, since I only have one company, it's be the only one on the list. I'll log into Business Vision or the Sales Tax Change Utility with my user and password. I'm presented with a screen here showing me uh, the sales has changed utility for 7.3. This one will now show me the provinces that are available in Sage Business Vision and the customers associated with each of the uh, provinces and the sales tax. So, what I'm going to do is in Sage Business Vision, 
I have customers currently with sales tax 0001 and 0002 in the um, province of Ontario. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to specify with these customers with, that are GST and PST in the province of Ontario, I want to change them to 0003, which is HST. In my criteria here, since I have this set, the first option I'm going to choose is to change my customers' taxes for customers and ship to addresses. So let's quickly jump back into Sage Biz Vision and I will quick just show you what customers I have currently set up in Ontario. I'll just log on again. I click on my customers module and you're going to see here that the first customer I have is Ontario. I got a ship to of a ship to address one in Ontario, taxes GST and PST, ship to address GST and PST with a second shipping address as a name. So we have two distinct ones along with a main bill too. Now if we check other customers, go to the address tab, uh, Acme is in Ontario, uh, Access Technologies in Quebec, and British Columbia Audio is in BC. So what we're going to do here in the cha tax change utility, we're going to specify that all customers that are Ontario with GST and PST to change them to HST. I'm going to click on change taxes for customers and ship to addresses. I'm going to close business vision. And I'm going to hit OK. This will change my customers and ship to addresses but will not affect my sales orders or quotes unless I have the second checkbox enabled as well. I'm going to do this one step at a time to show you all uh, that it's only going to change my customers and ship to addresses. I'm going to click OK. Changes are about to be made uh, to the customers, sales orders, and purchase orders. Do I wish to proceed? I'll say yes, and I get a progress bar going up until it's completed. It successfully changed. I'll hit OK, and I'll log back into Sage Business Vision again. Upon doing so, I'm going to check my customers uh, and ship tos to see what has changed. Click on my customer module again and go to the first customer, which is Ace in Ontario. I click on the tax and shipping, and you're going to see that has now changed to HST. If I click on the ship to, you're going to see here under ship to address one, under tax and shipping, this is changed to HST as well, and along with my shipping address number two. Okay, I'm going to close this part down and let actually let me check other customers in Ontario, uh, Acme, tax and shipping again is HST. And we're going to see here with uh, Quebec, Access Technology, Tax and Shipping, remains at GST and PST because this customer was not in the Ontario province. This customer was in the BC province. Likewise, with other customers um, that are, for example, in Manitoba, I click on Tax and Shipping. Again, it's, it hasn't changed them because I've specified to change only Ontario customers or ON customers. I can obviously run the sales tax change utility again specifying uh, Saskatchewan customers uh, or DC customers or Quebec customers or Alberta customers and change those to HST as well given they're the same rate or a different rate that I need to set up.